Hey, I'm here with uh, Austin George in one of our uh, Get to Know McClendon interviews. And so I'm going to spend a little time visiting with Austin. I think you're really, going to really enjoy getting to know him a little bit better. So, uh, Austin, uh, tell me how long you've been at McClendon. Hmm, that's a good question. I'd say going on two years now. Almost two years. And now, what got say. you started coming? Well, my buddy Noah, he he's my drummer in, uh, in the group I'm playing in. And... Uh, he invited me one Sunday to come and come check it out, and I think I think it was that Sunday that I came and uh, I sat in and we played played during the Sunday service, and um, it was really really fun. I really had a lot of a lot of really good memories already shared here, mm -hmm. and uh, but I remember that one Sunday in particular. It was really really nice. Everybody was so so open and uh, just so friendly. It was really awesome. Good good. Um, now, it's been about a year ago now, I want to say, that something, a, a pretty significant spiritual event happened in your life. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, uh, yes. So I was saved here. It was one Sunday morning, and it was uh, you were preaching about unsaved church members. And I, it, was, uh, it was a pretty convicting Sunday morning because I was sitting there, and I was just like, man, this is, this is me, you know? But... Uh, I didn't get up at the end of the service uh, to come and uh, give my uh, confession of faith. It was my friend Noah that got up and did it, and I was a total chicken. I was I was so, uh, but I, after I saw him do it, um, it wasn't until after the service that um, I decided to come back in. Like I had made it all the way to my car. And I came back, you know, I stopped the car, you know, put it in park, took the key out, came back inside and came up to Jimmy and sort of and, and told him, you know, what, what I had decided to do. But uh, it's, it's absolutely been the best decision of my life because it, it's definitely given me another lens to look through it, it, and the only lens I look through now um, in the sense of, just everything, everything that I look at, everything that I see, everything that I say, um, it's really um, put some things in perspective as to what's important in my life. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing uh, that with me. Now, uh, and you may have kind of answered this already, what are some things maybe God's saying to you now, you feel like God's doing in your life now? Definitely one thing, He's, uh, I, can, I can tell he's pruning me. He's, he's taken some things, he's slowly taken things out of my life and putting new things in their, in their place that like I, could, I wouldn't have even imagined mm -hmm. that would even be a thing before I let go of what I thought was uh, something beneficial before. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's um, still pruning on me, and I've been doing this for 40 years, and he's still pruning on me. I think it's part of the Christian pilgrimage. Right, yeah, right, exactly. Um, but it's definitely given me, uh, like, once, whenever I go back and I watch an old, old movie of mine, like an old, not like one that I filmed, but like one that I thought was really, really uh, a great movie at one point, um, I'll go back and, and watch it, and I'll realize... Uh, like there, I'll notice things I didn't even notice, like um, just the maybe the violence, you know, just to start off. Like now, there's some things that like I can't even watch. I can't mm -hmm. even enjoy certain movies, uh, which is, you know, it's a it's a, it's actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. It is a good thing, mm -hmm. and I have to, you know, because there's still that part of me that's like, yeah, let's watch the, right. you know, yeah. let's watch this movie or mm -hmm. you know or Let's play this. I can't even play certain video games, right? You know, because mm -hmm. it's like I didn't notice like all the like. Hey, are we just killing each other like in this game? <laughs> like, is that the goal? Once we do it again, we have to do it again. Yeah. You know, um, I think those are definitely parts of uh, your life that God's pruning, and He's done, and He's still doing those types of things in my life too. And so I appreciate you sharing that. I, I, maybe one other question. Um, I'm, I'm wondering how we as a church can help you as a as a young adult you're what 22 23 24 20 23 okay what do you think we could do as a church to to help a young uh, a young adult 
That's a really, really good question. Because um, I feel like being the Asian I met, I want to be more independent. But at the same time, I know that I need other people in my life to show me how, you know, how things really are, yeah. you know? Um, and instead of having to find them out the hard way, um, although I have learned a lot of things going the hard way around just from not listening to like, right. you know, like what my mom was telling me or something. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I would say um, being there, just being there is a huge part of it. Because mm -hmm. um, I know that a lot of times uh, folks my age or younger or even older can get into this um, almost like a hole or like a habit of, of relying on yourself to the point where whenever you are alone, finally, um, at the end of the day or you know any situation, um, sometimes your pride will mess with you to the point where whenever you do really need someone, you know, you're all alone. Mm -hmm. But I would, I would say being there for for people and being there for, I mean, just me in particular, or being there for adolescents or young adults and giving somebody somebody to talk to and just that understanding, that mutual understanding that everything's going to be okay. God's got this. Mm -hmm. It's all good. good. Sometimes you just need that. Um, but a lot of times, uh, you know, it, it's hard to ask for help sometimes. Mm -hmm. But just having that door open and knowing that that door is open is... is uh, it's priceless. Yeah. Well, I want to be a good pastor to you and a good friend to you. And McClendon is growing to love you. And we want to be a good church to you, okay? Cool. Uh, so you'll see Austin in the uh, second service. He's over here in the corner on the electric guitar. And uh, he's a joy to get to know. Be sure and go up and speak to him and let him know that you appreciate him sharing a part of his life with us this way. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Thanks, Kevin.